Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another Minecraft snapshot. Today we're going to be looking at 14W30B. And uh, from, I think it's been like a couple weeks since uh, there's been an update. And uh, I've only made one video and that was about a Minecraft, uh, kind of like a sneak, or not even a sneak feature, just like a, kind of like a hidden feature that I don't think anyone knew about because I got a lot of views on it and it was kind of popular on reddit for a little bit but uh, it was something to do with uh, mob spawners and you can like right click on them with a mob egg and it changes it to that mob and uh, I don't know I think that's kind of cool that they added that um, there was no update that I knew about it so that's why I made that video so that's kind of been it for the last couple of weeks there hasn't been any updates that were big like this one um, it's all been like I think like stats and bug fixes so nothing that i could really show off and explain to you guys and it wasn't really to do with it's if it's not anything to do with survival i kind of stay away from it too so so yeah let's get into the this up week's update and uh, we're going to start off with banners um banners they're huge on reddit right now i it is going crazy that's all i'm going to say it's going crazy um this is how you make a banner and uh it's uh six wool and that can be any color um it's whatever you want your base flag to be um that's what it's going to be so whatever you know whatever banner you want it to be whatever color you want it to be that's going to be that and uh one stick and that will give you your banner um it's just like a sign so it you know it can rotate and uh, there's some video of uh, it moving so i guess it depends on something to make it move uh the next thing is the uh the direct decoration of this the the way that you can decorate these banners i'm pretty amazed at it i'll be posting a separate uh imager album of a bunch of pictures describing on what you can do and uh how you can like decorate these banners because there is a lot um, I think it's like over 400 possible combinations. So I can't go through them all. So I'm just going to show you a little quick little example of what you can do with it. So as you can see, putting a creeper face, uh, I don't think, does it matter where it goes? Yeah, it doesn't matter where it goes. It creates a creeper face. I'm going to add some red to it and it adds a red creeper face. So now I can do, oh, no, I got to make it, dummy. Let's put that there there and there does it matter actually which way yeah it doesn't matter so it's that bam i have a white ba banner with a red creeper face so that's kind of how that goes um like i said there's a bunch of other things that you can do with these banners i'm going to be putting a separate imager um link album of a bunch of pictures and descriptions on what you can do with these banners so check that out um yeah, so it's a lot. That, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, the next update, I can't really show it because, well, because mob heads are already in the game. So I'll just grab the new additions. So in the this update, I was going to say in the latest update, but yeah, I guess it is kind of a latest update. Um, basically, you can get Wither Skulls in Minecraft, legit, in survival. Well, now you can get Skeleton, Zombie, and Creeper Skulls. Um, now, to get a Wither Skull, you kill the mob. There's a rare chance of you actually getting that skull. Um, I'm hoping it's the same way with these new skulls because um, from what I'm reading, uh, reading about it, it didn't really say if there's a special way of getting it. So, I'm hoping that's still how you get them. Um, the only addition to the uh, skull update was that mobs killed by a charged creeper uh, drop their skulls. Um, so if a charged creeper killed a skeleton, it will drop a skeleton skull. Now, I don't know if it's 100%, if it's still a rare chance, or if that is the only way to get it. I was kind of unclear about that, but I'm hoping the, um, the way that you get a wither skull is the same as getting the other skulls. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's that way. So, so that's kind of that with uh, the skulls so basically mob skulls are now in survival all of them well all of these skulls not like cows and sheeps and whatnot 
just these ones. These ones are all in survival. Um, the other addition is player skulls. Player skulls, you can give yourself player skulls by giving yourself um, a skull. Um, oh. uh, one, three, uh, skull owner, and then you type in a name. So this will give me my own skull. So it should be a zombie pigman, because that's what I'm dressed up as. And uh, does that make my... <laughs> I have a jumbo skull. It looks like my head is huge. But um, the thing is with this update... It... Whoa, it updated. What? Okay. Uh, I don't know how I got it to work, but this is the update. Uh, I'm now holding my skull. Uh, with some chunk rendering issues. <laughs> I'm actually holding my skull. Uh, that is actually what I want to show you. It was initially broken for me. I never ever got this thing to work. Um, I'm going to trash it. I'm going to give myself another skull. This. Okay. So here it looks like a normal player skull. This is how it originally was. It was also flat. Now it's 3D. So this is how it originally was. Now when I put it in my, my face... And take it out. Oh my god, it works! Yeah! <laughs> That's obviously a bug. But it's this is basically now the newest update uh, with player skulls. Um, I really don't see like the point of doing this unless player skulls are actually in the game. You know, if I was to go kill myself, probably impossible. Actually, no, you can kill yourself with an arrow. Um, that is the only way I can think of killing yourself. But if this is multiplayer, I personally feel that player skulls should be available in the game legit. So that's the only thing that I really wish that would kind of be updated with the whole player skull and the skull update. I don't know if it's going to be done, but let's hope, you know, let's hope that uh, that's what's going to happen. So that's kind of it for the items that are new and available to the game. Um, the next update is pretty fancy. So the next update is to do with F3. Now I actually didn't show you this in the beginning because I, you know, it's kind of, it's part of the new update. So I wanted to kind of leave it till the, the end or to this part. So as you can see in the bottom, uh, the top right, you have my video card and the resolution that um, I'm playing at. Then you have Java, it shows your Java, then it shows your memory and whatnot. Um, it, on the top left, it shows you that the version you're playing, it shows that I'm playing vanilla, I guess. I guess once mods are available for the game or the API is installed, it might show mods or something. You have my F the FPS. Um, is it was it always on the, the second line? I don't know. So you have your FPS, and I think that's it. If there's anything else, you know, it's there. It this is F3 is all new. So, um, so yeah, right now I'm getting about 200 FPS um, on the current video settings I'm running they added 32 chunks so if anyone out there wants 32 render distance um that's you know that's you can do that now but for me i'm going to stick with 16 chunks because right now i'm getting 60 fps and that's just looking around if i look down yeah i do get almost 400 fps but looking down is never ever the best way to show off your FPS because it's never realistic. When are you looking down and playing this game? Never. You're always looking straight above, looking around like this. So I'm averaging out around 40 FPS. So the example of these chunks, let me fly up a little so you can now see that mountain render chunk area. And you can see this mountain. So I'm going to I'm gonna go back to video settings, put it down to 16 and there you go so you do not see that mountain anymore and there's clouds over that mountain so that's basically the example of how big difference that there is with the uh the chunks so i would suggest using this the new chunks for maybe taking pictures or you know doing something cinematic but for fps you want to definitely drop it down to 16 or lower um, the other thing with uh, 13 chunks is you have to actually change your allocated RAM to 2 gigs. So as you can see, I'm using 1,820 megs. Um, I think that's 2 megs or 2 gigs. 
um, all you have to do is when you're in your um, uh, launcher, you edit your settings to allocate two gigs, and then that's how you get the two gigs and you can go to 32 chunks. So that's pretty cool. Um, but other than that, I think that's kind of it for this video. Um, there's nothing else that I know that's brand new. Um, the only other thing I know is you can hit F3 and A. You can hit F3 and A and it kind of like renders everything out from your position. Um, it doesn't just add everything. So I think that's kind of cool if you want to render something new or something's not rendering correctly. You can press F3 and A at the same time and I'll give you that the update. So that's kind of it for this update. I don't know how long it's going to be. Um, but, but yeah, that's it. Um, uh, for this update, like I always say, I'm going to be posting the update posts from Mio Yang and Reddit. Also the, uh, other imager posts about the banners will be in the description below. So please check those out. Um, if you want to follow my, any of my social media links or subscribe to me on YouTube, please do that. Um, all that stuff is down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed this video, but I'm going to have to end it off. Okay. Okay. I, okay. Let's do that. Well, we're going to end it off, but uh, yeah, that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm just Price 9 and I'll see you guys in another video. Hello. Peace.